Jack Nicklaus talked about the two fundamentals, the grip and the setup. Let's talk about the setup. The setup, I like to say, is you're in the guarding position in basketball. If you're in this position right here, like this, you can move. I can move this way, I can move this way. I can move back, I can move forward. If you have your, your feet too wide, what happens, you can't move quickly enough. If they're too narrow, you move and you fall over. If your legs are too straight, then you can't move at all. And we see all those types of stances in golf. Too wide, too narrow, legs too straight. Now this is how I like to teach the setup. I start from the ground up. The feet are shoulder width apart. Your toes should be slightly open. I think the left toe should be a little bit more open, the, the right toe like this. The knees are slightly flexed, and the right knee is kicked in like this, not out, or even straight up like this. It's kicked in just a little bit like that to help you brace on the inside of your right foot. Then, you have to stick your rear end out to counterbalance your top end being over. Now, let's talk about the back. I see too many people do this. Their rear end is, is tucked in and your shoulders are slumped like this. You need to stick the rear end out and the upper back has to be straight and not slumped over this way. Make sure that your upper back is straight. The rear end stuck out, your knees are flexed, and you're on the balls of your feet, not the heels and not the front of, the, front of your foot, the toes, but on the balls of your feet right there. And you also want to continue with your neck. You don't want your neck to be bent over this way like this too much because that restricts your backswing. What you want is your neck to be an extension of your spine. And keep, keep your chin up like this. Your chin not, can't be down like this. It must be up like this. Now, how far do we stand away from the ball? That's the question that most people ask. I mean, I don't know how far to stand away from the ball. We see people out there swinging with their arms out here like this. You don't do that. How you do it is very simply. You take the balanced position that I just taught you and you allow your arms to swing freely and come together. Where they come together like this is where you grip the golf club. You grip the golf club right there. Then you move into the ball like that and that is your setup position. Let's talk about aim and alignment. When we're talking about aim, we're talking about where we want the ball to start off on. When we talk about alignment, we're talking about how our body is positioned to that aim line. Now this aim line right here is positioned directly at that hole. And this is a parallel line right here, which is parallel to that line. And this line right here is where I align my knees, my hips, and my shoulders, all parallel to that line in relationship to the ball. I set up in here like this and make a swing and hit a shot. Problem is that there's no such thing as a straight shot, or very rarely a straight shot. It's like a putt. A putt has some sort of break to it. And most shots have some sort of curve to them. Left to right, right to left could be your natural draw or fade. But how about the wind, a crosswind? So you're going to have to start your aim line not at your target, but away from your target to allow for the bend or the break of the ball in the air. So I have a natural hook in my swing. I have to change my alignment to allow for the start of the ball to go to the right of the target and then curve back to the target. So I take my stance from the parallel on the line to slightly to the right like this and I swing to the right of the target And the ball naturally turns right in toward the hole. Now Jack Nicklaus, who hits a fade, he does the opposite. Instead of him being right on the target, like this, he opens up his body a little bit, like this. He starts the ball left of the target. And he hits a fade into the hole. This is the best way, in my opinion, to align yourself up to hit your best possible shot. Jack Nicklaus does it this way. He picks a spot out in front of the ball, somewhere, anywhere from a foot to, oh, a couple feet in front of the ball like this. Gets behind the ball, 
He looks at that spot, and as he's walking up, he keeps looking at the spot, then he sets his club head down and aims his club head first at that spot. Then looks up at the target as he's taking his stance. He looks at the spot, looks at the target. Looks at the spot, looks at the target. And here's Jack, head back. Here's another method for aiming. I call it the goalpost method. Instead of taking an exact point to hit over, I figure out a goalpost out there. When I am looking down at the target, I see a right limit and a left limit. And if I have a slight draw, I'll, I'll favor to the center to the right. If, it, if the wind's blowing from left to right, center to the left. So I'll have a width to hit the ball into rather than a precise point. Sometimes that makes it easier to hit onto a green or a fairway. There I hit it. The right limit, I'm still on the green. One of the most misunderstood elements of the golf game is ball position. I find that way too many golfers put the ball in the wrong position, almost making it impossible for them to hit the proper shot. There are some golfers like my friend Jack Nicklaus and Johnny Miller who subscribe to the theory that the ball position should be in the same position for every club in the bag. The driver, the three wood, the five iron, pitching wedge are all just forward or center. Now, I subscribe to the theory, along with Sam Snead, for instance, that the ball should change position from forward for a longer club and the shorter clubs move more toward the middle of your stance. Now with the driver, I position the ball just inside the toe and the left heel, some sort of line right there. The reason is, is at the bottom of the arc, when I hit this driver, it comes in the bottom of the arc is right there, and then it just slightly hits it on the upswing, just barely on the upswing. With the 5-iron, I want to hit the ball before it reaches the bottom of its arc. So I position the ball with the 5-iron in this position right here. You want the club head to be hitting down on the ball like this, and then the divot comes after the ball. The low part of your arc should be just ahead of the ball with with a 5-iron, a mid-iron club, it doesn't really matter. And if you take it further, the pitching wedge, you still want the ball to be moved just slightly farther back with the pitching wedge because you're a little bit closer, a little bit more upright swing, and you want to catch the ball again. On the downswing, the ball comes on the downswing, catches the ball, divot is ahead of the ball, and on through. 